And right now at 6, a SWAT situation in Austin Town is now over. Law enforcement spent over 16 hours on the scene. A woman wouldn't leave her apartment or let a child leave. That child is safe tonight, but we're still working to learn the condition of the woman. And this all started last night around 10 o'clock. That's when police responded to the Westchester Square apartments. Tonight, there are still a lot of questions about why this all started. Let's begin our coverage with First News anchor Stan Boney, who's live in Austin Town. Stan. Well, Lindsay, I don't have a lot of answers of what happened here today here at Westchester Apartments in Austin Town. I have a few details of what happened. I can tell you that the situation has now ended. Everything is under control. Uh, the large contingent of law enforcement that was here since 10 o'clock last night, most of them have left. There are still a few on the scene. The Mahoning County Emergency Management Mobile Command Post, really the only large vehicle that's still here, though there are also state patrol and Austin Town Police on the scene as well. This is what you can see behind me. This is what's left. These are the people that lived in there that live in the apartment where the standoff took place. They have not yet allowed to be go back inside and get their belongings, things that they need, and they have been out of that apartment since 10 o'clock last night. Uh, there is an elderly gentleman in and amongst them somewhere uh, who needs his medication. They will not let anybody inside, though. Uh, we are told that the Bureau of Criminal Investigation is on the way, though they have yet to arrive. Now, now, um, the young boy that was in this apartment, we are told he is okay tonight. We were told that by one law enforcement official that he is fine. Let me show you the videotape, though, that we had from earlier today. This is a shot of a stretcher coming out of the apartment. Uh, this is shortly after 4.30 this afternoon. Uh, we don't know who exactly was on that stretcher or the condition of that person. But the end, beginning of the end happened here around 4.20. 20 this afternoon when we heard several loud gunshots followed by broken glass. Now what happened after that we are unsure about. The next thing we saw was that stretcher go in the house and then come back out of the house with a person on it and that person's head was covered with the sheet. Again we don't know who was on that stretcher or the condition of the person that was there. Now there have been a number of law enforcement uh, officers uh, from different agencies on the scene throughout the day. Uh, the FBI, the State Patrol, Austin Town police all here. Uh, everyone, though, for the most part, has pretty much left. And what you see behind me is all that's here. The area where the standoff actually took place is still covered in crime scene tape tonight. We hope to get briefed by the state patrol here shortly, get more details of exactly what happened. We hope to have that for you coming up tonight on First News at 10 and 11. Live in Austin Town, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. So much, Stan. And Stan briefly touched on this. Law enforcement and people who live in this apartment complex spent the day watching and waiting for that all clear. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti was there as well and learned about the toll that this situation took on everyone. He continues our coverage tonight. It all started last night as Austin Town Police went to make a welfare check on a woman living in a ground floor apartment of Westchester Square with her nine year old son. When they arrived, the woman was in a hallway with a gun in her hand. She backed into her apartment. The officers backed out. Uh, one of the residents told me they heard her uh, sound like she was pulling a slide back on a gun. Officers immediately started evacuating those in neighboring apartments. It was about 9.30, 9.45 last night, and we've been out in the parking lot ever since. Ian Schaefer was one of a number of residents who had to leave with only what they had on. I got no wallet, no phone, no shoes. <laughs> Just been hanging out outside all night and managed to keep a catch a couple hours of sleep in the back of uh, one of the other tenants cars. Other neighbors could do little more than watch and wait. I just pray for all of them and I, I don't know it's just a very sad situation. As long as this standoff has lasted the SWAT team officers are wearing many pounds of heavy gear in this heat and humidity. They have to rotate in and out in shifts. First the local team was here then early this morning a team with the FBI came in. The locals came back at some point late this morning and then late this afternoon a team with the Ohio State Highway Patrol moved in and took over for now. As crews were setting up, a neighbor drove into the parking lot, telling officers she'd just received a phone call from the woman in the apartment. She said to me, the police is out there and I don't know why. And I said, what's the matter? She said, I don't know. 
but Joan tells me the woman abruptly hung up without saying anything more. In Austin Town, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.